the YouTube Triumph Guy here today and I'm going to show you how to make the coolest lights for your vintage caravan and it's all part of a playlist for caravan electric so please look in the comments and the link will be there and we'll show you how to do the whole 12 volt rig solar etc so let's get to it so there is a couple of different styles you can go for I prefer these as they hide the electrics in the bottom portion of the brass fittings However, you can use these, but I decided against them. Although they do look pretty cool, but you will have exposed wire. So first things first, you're gonna test that your brass end cap and your actual fittings actually fit the pipe. After you place it all together, you're gonna drill a hole in the bottom of one of them. And this is just so you can secure it to the bench to help you work later on. It's really important the end cap is fully pushed in and you tighten the brass pipe to this so that you can get an accurate measurement. I've gone for one inch spacings in where to put the, the holes along the pipe. Make sure you punch it in, okay? Otherwise, if you try and drill it without it punching in, it will fall off and I'll just show an example. Also, make sure you try and punch a bit straighter than mine um, so it doesn't look so wonky. Next you're going to need some heat resistant tubing and um, this is to encase the lights and ensure that if they do ever get a slight split in them that this isn't going to become a live tube. Measure out and then put a slit where the wires are going to do. Obviously this will be on the reverse side of where the lights are going to be shining. So start pushing the lights through the tube, okay. If they start to bend, it does become a bit of an issue. Um, I found the best way of doing it was slightly warming up the tube to make it a bit more workable and then pushing the lights through. Then the heat resistance plastic tube, then undo your lights, push that whole tube through the copper tube. As you can see, it can get a bit difficult, but you've just got to work with it. And then mount them up temporarily just to test the circuits. I use this light but this is how they look with the new scene. Thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next one.